Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. And Ghost Franklin is here at your service. Let's get him down to the lobby. Because one of the things that we do have to do with him is we have to scare some people by the fountain. And we can, I think we could probably set that up pretty quickly. You ought to be doing your job. Scaring someone in the lobby instead of talking to me. You don't want to make Xavier mad. Oh, uh, we can wail, moan, splash, zap, <laughs> look at. That's pretty scary. Despair, chill, talk to, or blow on. elevator door I can't switch there we go I picked the right floor this time oh uh oh no and wait the kid is Just the drinking Abu fountain. As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. Not bad. Now you need to find someone else to scare. Then you'll have met your daily quota. I have to get back to work now. How long are you on door duty for? Until Xavier says we're all done for the day. Now, deep breath. This is my job. Go do your own job and scare someone around here. Now, deep breath. <laughs> what has happened to this game? It was already crazy enough. Um, can I use the phone? <laughs> ah. Okay, do I just like... How'd that happen? <laughs> Something spooky is going on. What's going on here, Abu? The drinking fountain? It's, um... Oh, it's just the fountain, Abu, again? It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers, Abu. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost, average first scares. You keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge. Okay, so we got, we got... Scare one person at drinking fountain, done. Scare another person at drinking fountain, done. I guess we could leave, right? Can we, like, leave the hotel now? It's a revolt. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Okay. Guess we're gonna go back to Ray then. Let's check out the tenth floor. Just like I, I <laughs> How far are they gonna take this? I feel like we're just getting started with the crazy stuff. Ten oh three is probably over here. Mm 
bear toy. The label says Pillow Bear. I wonder how it got here. Okay, what about the passport? It's Hello. A passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. Find ID for the victim, okay. What else can we Jack's do in here? reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. It's getting dark out there now. I don't see anything else that we can do here. It's an unplugged TV. This TV is still here. Hmm. I'm assuming we can't go to the penthouse, right? That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Okay. Let's go back down to the ghost, Franklin. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into. <laughs> oh, I see. That's, that's a despair means turn lemons into lemonade I don't even like lemonade sorry but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse hmm get into the penthouse we can't leave we can't get to the penthouse yet we can't do the first two things, so we're, I think we're going to have to try to focus on getting to the penthouse. What if we just zap her? Can't zap her. Kill. Vaguely acceptable chilling. in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. Can we leave with uh, Ray and Reyes? Yeah. I guess we should be able to, right? Lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. We can. Okay. So, we could do some of these other things. We could talk to Dolores and the clown. Let's do that. Let's move on to the circus. Oh my god, that's not creepy at all. Tickets, 25 cents. Open up. Federal agents. Keep your panties on. I'm coming. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. The beeping is back. Ransom the clown? I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez, no foreplay, Red? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Not my style. You can ask your questions, Toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. Okay. What do Here we you go. know about the body by the river? 
What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. <laughs> what weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. Thank I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my next wife took me for everything I had. So does he just, like, own the entire park now? Like, he just lives here? Is this house? We heard you don't get along with the locals. Given my creepy clown face and Paul Sean for abusive name-calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small-town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck? My factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total Scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. Yeah, you'd make for great toys. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would've been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Okay, is that it? That's all for him? Talk to Ransom the Clown. Let's go talk to Dolores. Yeah. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. I'm not touching that. It's <laughs> probably cursed, like Ransom. Okay. Radio station? News to me. Case go. are watching us oh. make no mistake about it the only way to protect yourself is to fight back and now back to our special hostile takeover song well, we've heard her before haven't we ridiculous it's locked and bolted from the inside It's a music poster. It's a record. So we can't get in here. Looks like the radio station is on the air. There is a crack in the glass. I wonder if we can break the glass. It's locked and bolted from the inside. There's something else we can do. Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue or something sticky. Ew. I don't want to know more. Yeah, nasty. Can we use anything? Oh, wait. Oh, we can play as Ransom. 
Things are looking significantly worse than they were before. Ransom even clowns to do this. Get everyone down to hate me, check. Feed little beeper. Get package at post office, try removing makeup again. Put 56 more specks of dust. Great. P.S. I hate my life and go beep yourself if you found this note and are reading it. Okay, nice. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. My official Ransom the Clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash them yet. Yikes. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Who'd want to steal it? We grab it now? Okay. Cage. It's a page from my joke book. This is pick up Come back oh. here. Oh. Hey! Stop! Damn broken window. Eviction That's notice. That's just my eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell. And he's afraid to come back. It's an attempted delivery notice. Okay, what, what was we delivered? Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not going to search the circus for you, Ransom. George the Postman. Well, my fridge. Disgusting on the outside. Worse inside. Ugh. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Let's grab that. That's it. Okay. What the hell? Well, Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. To give him the the. the cheese? Lil Beeper is lactose intolerant. If I give him cheese, then the whole trailer smells like farts. No thanks. Better leave it where it is. Always time to do laundry later. Okay. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? What a f of a f still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. Okay, well, that's one thing on our list. Still have to feed Lil Beeper. And then, uh... We lost that joke book page. We have to find that as well. Okay. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. I need to be higher to jump on it. Okay. That's too far to jump from here. That's too far to jump from here. <laughs> All right, I try, guys. So the page went that way. Um, this oh, there's dust. Is that actually fifty-five? Oh, this game. So funny. Popcorn. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. I uh, won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. But you're carrying around moldy cheese. Okay, fine. I buy it. Backstage entrance, dust sweet, nailed it. It's my empty Ransom the Clown swear jar. It stays empty now because no one's here but me and Lil Beeper. It's a box. It's a box with a crank on it. It's a box with a crank on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. 
It's my tube of Coslerix patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. Having some itch problems, Ransom? It's my tube of Coslerix patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. Hole, okay. I can't reach that. How do we get down? So you have to go through the other entrance. There's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Can't pick up the jar either, okay. We're gonna need something to pick up the popcorn with. Now, what effect is this moldy cheese going to have on this rat? Should we just wait to find out? It's like he looks like the rat's grabbing popcorn. this yet. There's one more place to go, if I remember correctly. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Popcorn stand. Oh, there we go. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little beeper. Lo well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really gonna pick it? Rats having more fun at this than I am. Not even half full. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before. So I guess the rat's collecting it for us, right? Ah. It's a full bag of popcorn. Oh, no, no, there's two rats there. All right, so we can feed Lil Beeper. What's, what does that do for us? Aside from keeping the poor guy alive a little bit longer. Here you go, Lil Beeper. Enjoy your crap. Okay. Package a post office. Guess we'll do that next. Assuming we can leave. How do we leave this place? Midway's closed. Is it this way? Ah, nice. Oh, and we can go to the different streets. Um, bus station. B Street? No. Oh, the freaking... The shoes, the squeaky shoes are killing me. Killing me, Ransom. I'm just curious to find out how people react to him. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. 
Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Just order your food and get lost. Um. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before. Well. We're gonna get some more vomit Don't action here. On it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap, and I ought to know. I uh, gotta go. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> I feel better now. <laughs> I'm glad we experienced that together, everybody. Wow. Okay, we're at the post office. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. You, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? We got a package. Um, not go postal. Oh, we've got a joke. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the f mail. That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. Get bent. <laughs> okay, that's that's a joke. Hey, George, you lazy f I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, you. Okay, what's this package? There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. All right, so we have a wallet. It's the official Ransom the Clown candy bar first. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead. It emits deadly sparks. That could be useful. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. All right, what can we... Can we use you this? Got loose change. Oops. Buy me some kombucha? That doesn't seem to work. You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like... I was going to say, these two are probably going to get along. Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm going to ignore that line because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash and you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck, you smell like... Okay, maybe not. I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. Wow. You're one to talk. Wow. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an... Hey, buy me a drink? <laughs> it's just like, buy me a drink. I have a brand new wallet that no one wants. Oh, Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. Okay, we what got the wallet. Do with, this piece of with blood on it. Great. What do I want with a bloody wallet? So what I'm thinking is, can we give this to the to like Ray? Wait, do I have a map? Maybe I can grab a map for ransom as well, so I can just move around town faster. Oh, 
Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you yeah. find anything? I can. Um, she's over. At did she go back to the hotel? I need to stay focused oh, right. and solve Radio this station. murder so I can get on with my plan. Your Let's get her back to the hotel. See if we can get that wallet from Ransom. Sure, I'll carry your crap. This isn't mud on the wallet. It looks more like a blood stain. There's nothing inside, no money, nor any ID. Okay, so that's pretty huge. Get blood Tron report, okay. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Take a blood swab from the body. How do we go about doing that? I think we'll find out on the next episode, guys. We're making some progress. This is good. This is real good. Make a progress. This is Local Sunblock signing off for now, and I love you all.